七クマ。Hey Itsuki, can I ask you for some advice? I knew it. You're seeking love advice, right? Let me hear it. Uh, uh, how come you knew? Of course I knew. It's because I've been watching you two at close range. This is my precious friend, Yuzuki Ito, who is obviously a punk girl. Her hair color is dyed platinum blonde. She speaks a little rough. She seems to have followers in school. She's straightforward. She follows what she likes out to be bitter, but she ignores what she doesn't like completely. My classmates are afraid of her, but I love Yuzuki. She's the most honest and upstanding person, and I admire her. Hey, Ryunosuke! How many times must I tell you? When you come to school, you should say good morning to me who's sitting next to you. Ah, good morning. Huh, put your emotions into it. What does this hair do? Your hair's a mess again. I told you to stop being sloppy. Yuzuki, give him a break. Hm. If Itsuki says, so then I'll let you go. Ryunosuke Yamada sits next to Yuzuki. You can tell he's the total opposite to Yuzuki. His slightly long hair is always messy. He wears a big pair of glasses. He looks quiet, and I'm surprised that Yuzuki aggressively makes contact with him. One day, on our way home from school, we saw a freshman of our school being bullied by the juniors. Come on, give me your wallet. If you don't, I'm going to stomp your smartphone flat. No, please don't. I forgot my wallet today. I'm telling the truth. Hey, you. Do you think we're going to believe such an excuse? Cut the crap, you guys. Just do it. You should have given your wallet to us before. Stop it! Gee, she went to stop them. Huh? You're a sophomore. Stay out of this. We're juniors. Shut up! Don't enjoy bullying the freshmen. It's so uncool. You picking on a fight? Hey, you're Yuzuki Ito in the second year. And so? I heard a lot about you. You shouldn't get carried away. I'm going to teach you who's in the higher rank. All right then. Show me what you got. Oh my, are they fighting? They're going after a girl. Should we call the police? <sighs> People are gathering around us. Guys, let's get out of here. Yuzuki, are you okay? I'm fine. Hey, you. Yes. Here's your smartphone. Don't get it stolen again. Let's go, Itsuki. Yep. Yuzuki can't leave someone who needs help. This is why I love Yuzuki. Um, excuse me. Oh, you're that freshman yesterday. What's the matter? Did they bully you again? N no. I wanted to thank you today. I was picked on by those juniors for a long time. If you hadn't helped me, they'd break my phone again. Thank you so much. You said again. So they did it before? Yes. I'm such a coward, so I'm an easy target for them. Shoot. What scumbags they are. I see. If they try to bully you again, let me know. Here's my number. Oh, thank you, big sister. No, don't call me big sister. Ito-san. What? Helping the guys in the lower grade is a nice thing. But you should be more careful. You're a girl. What if you get into a fight and they hurt your face? Uh, uh, what are you saying? You're just that Ryonosuke and you're giving me advice? If you have time to lecture me, do something with your hairdo! Yuzuki, what's the matter? I got a letter of challenge. Huh? In this modern world? From who? Probably those juniors we met yesterday. It says to come to the vacant lot at the edge of town alone. No, you shouldn't go! It's okay. You don't have to worry so much. See you tomorrow. Yuzuki! Gosh! Yuzuki is always like this. Even though she knows she's at a disadvantage, she'll never run away and will fight. Ryonosuke is right. Is Yuzuki aware that she's a girl? I secretly followed her. I found her, as expected. It was those juniors we met yesterday. What should I do? It's insane, Yuzuki. I should call somebody. 
You're at the edge of town. I thought it would be difficult to find someone, but actually, I found someone at the beach. It was our classmate, Ryunosuke. Ryunosuke-kun? What are you doing here? Oh, you are... I'm Mitsuki Hayashi. You should at least remember my name. Sorry, sorry. I just came to watch the ocean. And you? What are you doing here? Uh, all right. Yuzuki! I don't think Ryunosuke can save Yuzuki. Um, nothing. Sorry, but I'm in a hurry now. Is Ito-san all right? I... I can't move my arm. Unlike his appearance, he has enormous strength. Actually... After I told Ryunosuke about Yuzuki, he dashed towards the vacant lot. <sighs> Damn it! Let go of me! As a girl, you've done quite well. But playtime is over. Get ready! <sighs> Ito-san, are you alright? What? Ryunosuke? What are you doing here? Where on earth did you come from? Stop fooling around, you brat! Oh, you're weak. They say that barking dogs seldom bite. It seems it's true. Yuzuki, are you okay? I'm okay, but... Well, well, I can take care of you two at once. But what do you want to do? Shoot! Don't look down on me! Let's finish them! Yuzuki, who... Are you? Me? I'm the boxing champion of the National High School League. Didn't I tell you? What? You champion? Never heard of it before. That makes sense. A boxing champion. That's why he beat the juniors with just one punch. Ryunosuke is not that usual guy with messy hair and glasses. Without his glasses and combing back his hair, he looks confident. I was lucky that I bumped into Ryunosuke when I ran for help. Itsuki, you were following me yesterday, weren't you? Uh, I'm sorry. I was just worried about you, Yuzuki. What were you gonna do if you got involved? But thanks anyway. You wanna call for help, right? Well, I didn't expect that it would be Ryunosuke. Yeah, I didn't know he was a boxing champion. I was stunned. I told you, in the morning, you should say good morning! Ah, good morning. Oh, shoot. You're a totally different person from yesterday, Ryunosuke. Huh? <laughs> Thank you for yesterday. I didn't know you were such a strong guy. I admire you. It's nothing special. Yeah, you were really cool yesterday, Ryunosuke. Thanks. Hmm, it's really nothing. Yuzuki likes strong guys. And it looks like Ryunosuke has feelings for her. Maybe the two might develop into. I felt happy about my best friend's sign of love. I didn't know this at the time, but Yuzuki will shyly come to me to seek for love advice. <laughs>